market. So Bitcoin is still below $30,000, but disappointing. If I go here on the chart I just made recently, we see the long-term perspective though. And this is most important to understand that like you're gonna go into this market and delay gratification. It's not about instant gratification. Don't even start to trade, leverage trade or whatsoever, or go for futures, you know, and bet against like up, up price up or price down. Most important is to actually delay gratification. Our target line is here around that region. Why is that? Because you see here, the red vertical lines are the halvings, the Bitcoin halvings. This is when the inflation rate gets cut in half. So that was here, as you see in November, in July and in May. And like the next one will occur, it's always happening in four year cycles. It's uh, occurring in April, around that timeline. This is monthly candle. So one candle here represents 30 to 31 days. So overall, the next now, let's say nine months, amazing time to dollar cost average. At that point, I actually just want to sit on the sidelines over here in April and just see what is actually happening. I'm not going to invest anymore. I've actually already gone and prepare to take profits off the markets. I'm highly invested in Ethereum, Bitcoin. Bitcoin super slow, I know, but I still have some BTC, of course. And of course, the ecosystem of Richard Hart, Path Chain, PLSX, Hex, of course. And Chainlink, yeah, these are like my 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 blue chips I'm following up with, and I think I'm actually in the in the in the time uh, where this can be, um, yeah, one of the best appreciating assets, hopefully, till uh, that deadline here. So some people say even till December 25, there could be something uh, where we top out and maybe we have super psych and we go all the way up. Or maybe we just get scammed again and we go all the way down like we got scammed in that cycle here in 2021 with a double uh, bubble. But you know, what is super interesting to see is that it took like 518 days pretty much to that top over here. And who knows, maybe from the halving date, it's going to take exactly 518 days as well to top out because we have that here previously just 100% um, yeah, on point, 518 days roughly where we basically made it um, yeah, to the top of the, of the cycle. And that was always due to the Bitcoin halving. So yeah, if you do not understand those things, um, it's actually simple, you know? There's a limited supply of something. This is Bitcoin, like 21 million or whatsoever. And the network gets controlled by miners. So these miners, they have a lot of hardware and software who's basically controlling that consensus mechanism when you do actually do a transaction sending one Bitcoin from one wallet to another address, okay? And yeah, the network basically rewards the miners with BTC. That's how it is. And the inflation rate gets cut in half. That means that miners are gonna earn less BTCs in rewards to secure the network of the Bitcoin blockchain. So yeah, have that said, what is going on in the parts chain ecosystem? I've just seen it before quickly and like, volume is super low um, as well guys I want to tell you don't take everything I say for financial advice because sometimes or whatever I talk about I delay gratification and there's always a risk with it so I talk for example about shop finance and shop finance for example right now is just on the ground and it's not doing much it's um, yeah super super low it's like a, a platform here where you can farm and I do actually make your passive money $30 and here $13 and whatsoever but um, overall, if we go here on, uh, let me check quickly, if there's SHERP, there we go, SHERP Finance right now is in the high depression zone. But again, you want to be greedy in cryptocurrencies, usually speaking, below 90% from the top. I actually thought it was going to follow up with Tony, what was like another farm mining uh, protocol. But yeah, right now it looks like it found its floor. And hopefully there's going to be no news. Like the community is kind of active. There's something going on in on Telegram and they do like NFTs and stuff. But I do hate NFTs, so I don't look too much into it. I still do some uh, some farming here with the SHERP, SHERP tokens I bought at a certain point. And uh, I staked some incentive tokens to yeah make some SHERP. But um, yeah, I hope this is going to come up. And honestly, this is like a market cap was very, very low. So it's high risk, high reward. But if this goes to a million, it's like almost your 10x. So I have that said... Um, yeah, the volume again is very low currently. You see here always the volume is a checker where you see 13 million. But again, Pulse Chain is a very, very young, young blockchain, right? So Avalanche, for example, who has like rumors for partnerships with Amazon and whatsoever, has like 11 million. 
and they already went through a huge, huge cycle as well, you know. I actually use their protocol, Trader Joe as well, where I do some farming, but um, yeah, have that said, just be patient, delay gratification, the delay gratification and maybe, um, if you see that, maybe, yeah, do a screenshot of that and um, yeah, just have that like as a roadmap to where things are heading and where you want to be. If you listen to this video now, like, sub, follow me on Free Web Minds on Twitter and as well, be grateful because we are still kind of young and early in the in the in the in the cycle right now of things and things will be diminishing over time so i think over overall um yeah the rewards we're getting they won't be as crazy anymore uh, because too many people understand the psychology and the economical power behind it and they take advantage right and yeah to be fair we're gonna sell our tokens to people who are just not as matured as we are at that point and they're gonna basically give us the profits and then hopefully they can adapt to it and stick to crypto in the next cycle in uh, 2028 so yeah have that said i hope you like that give me a like